You know the crazy thing about uh, the, the English class and me failing out, like eventually by 12th grade, uh, the school got the point that I didn't want to be in that class anymore and they gave me my wish. They, they let me, they took me out of gifted and talented English and I was back in honors English class with all of my friends in 12th grade and a crazy thing happened. They still saw me as a nerd. Like it didn't matter. Only difference at that point was now I was a nerd with D's and E's on my report card because I was so focused on trying to be around people who were going to see me the way they were going to see me regardless of what class I was in. You know, and that really uh, changed the way I looked at things in life. It changed the way I dealt with people because then I realized that, you know what, we are who we are regardless. And who's, you know, who's going to be in our circle, who's going to accept us for who we are. You know, we can't control that. Uh, so it really taught me that it, it didn't matter uh, uh, what you've been through. That you, at any point, you know, you can always change uh, what, what you want to, uh, dang, man, that's not where I was going to go. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. So it really taught me at that moment that uh, we can't focus ourselves on trying to appeal to other people, right? Our gifts and our talents uh, that are in us are there to, to build us. It turns out that my whole entire life and career was, was be dealing with writing. You know, my first business, I was a songwriter on a publishing company, okay? Uh, from there, I've written 11, 12 best-selling books. I've ghost-written other books. I've written sales copy that's earned millions of dollars across the, the world for people. Uh, all because I was the kid in that gifted and talented English class. Now, had they told me back then why they put me in that class, like had the uh, teachers and administrators told me, hey, Ryan, we see a gift in you in writing, then maybe that would have reframed my entire high school. But they just kind of threw me in there and said, hey, go, go for it. So, you know, sometimes you don't always see what your gift is. You don't always know why uh, things are, are moving in the way they're moving in your life. But I promise you, if you look back, you know, your, your, your gift, your purpose, it leaves clues. You know, and you've got to be able to tap into that and stop trying to worry about what other people are going to think. Go out there and be the best you and, and it'll open up so many doors that you, you never could have opened without it.